right look, so I'm going upstairs to get a, a top view um, of all the decor, all the people that are here. Uh, man, it just, just couldn't be back. Party time, man, let's do this. fun last night let's jump into the computer and uh show you some things in capture one i'm gonna do with this event all right so i figured y'all didn't want to see this mess behind me when the camera's right there looking this way so i put this thing up on the ceiling you know that way when the camera's here I can, uh, you know, zoom into black and you won't see the mess back there. What do you think about that idea? Let me know uh, in the comments. All right, let's get into Capture One so I can show you the job last night. All right, so how cool is this? So real quick, I'm showing you this for two things. First of all, I'm going to go adjustments reset. So this is the file that came out of the camera, just like this, boom which is still cool, very pretty, but I like more color. I like my blacks to be black. I just, I just like some more punch, you know? Um, so just so you see down here, at 3200 speed at 125th. This is handheld at a 5.6, and I'm using my 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. As you can tell, I'm not shooting at 1.4 because I want more in focus. So you get more in focus when you shoot at a higher f-stop. So what I would normally do is my Glossy Sharp preset, my GK Glossy Sharp right over here. Boom, and you'll see what it does off the bat. Bam. Okay. Now, I'll normally come right over here, and if I have to, my color, my white balance selector picker thingy is on. But I like these colors as they are. There's nothing to white balance on here. So I am done. Like, what else would you do to this? Uh, my blacks are black um the colors are beautiful and uh it's awesome so i got a tad more clarity i got my structure up a little bit that's just for sharpness and the dehaze i have at plus four you're like what does dehaze do well let me show you as you move your dehaze it does it does this thing with contrast and color and as you move it you'll you'll see it go nuts like that's way too much or maybe for this image that's perfect that's 100 percent dehaze um i normally would never use 100 percent dehaze but you know let's go back down to um what was it like i said plus four all right we'll go we'll go seven whatever bam i'm done so i need a fast workflow when i'm working on images these are some of our revelers uh, the, the girl who owns this company, she designed these things herself. Isn't that cool? Um, LED lights and everything. So cool. So let me do this real quick. Let me uh, get off of the five stars. Let's go back to nothing so you can see it. Let me raise this. Yeah, check out that weather, man. Not the weather man, but the weather man. Look at those clouds. It was rolling in. We did not get wet. So look, let's do that real quick. Glossy sharp. Okay, so you see how this is bluish? Like we know those clouds are gray right all right this is what i mean you can always find white gray or black in an image for your white balance uh, in this case here's your here's your gray it's like you're looking at these colors here and it's like okay if you're gonna click here you're saying this is white uh, this is not white that is a cream color here's your black there's always black white or gray i'm telling you uh, the bridge is gray. Now, all I would do with with this 
since we're outside. Let's get your dehaze up. Let's get your contrast up. Let's bring your exposure down, actually. And see how the colors come on in. Uh, this is actually like a pink because they use LED lights down here. And being that I was there on the job, I know what colors these are supposed to be. So if you want to, if you want to crank your saturation up a little bit, uh, to me that's too much. I like it down to there. Let's take your highlights, bring your highlights down. That really enhances the sky. And it's too much for me. So let's go up. And all I'm doing is keeping my eyes on this thing because it's my subject, right? Does this look real? Um, everything else that we're doing to it is for the entire scene, but I still need that to be real. So I'm good with this. Okay. Turn the Kelvin up a little smidge. Good to go. Now I'm going to shift command C to copy those settings. Okay. The reason why is I'm going to five star that. That's one of my select, my selected images. Now I'm going to look at, uh, this dude's really cool, but I thought I had a better shot of him. I mean, this is, this is neat too. Now I'm going to control, sorry, I'm a PC guy, man, I can't help it. Shift, command, V for paste. And those are the exact same settings as what we just did. Now you're looking at the people's skin tones, and whenever you deal with people, you'll do different things than products and you know and you, just non people stuff because you can get away with more punchy more colors and stuff uh, I need the skin tones to look more real which is usually my DJs which is why it usually stays at around four or so um, uh huh shadows boom done so let's control control G's command shift Copy on that one. I want to see this shot. Paste. Pretty cool. So he has white. Let's click on that. Here's his cream. See how the colors change? Just click on black. It's like which one is more true to color and these whites are not a pure white so sometimes you guys click around like his gloves are white where they're white <laughs> you know it's like look at that i click here i get something different all right so let me raise exposure a smidge take the contrast let's bring it down which way we like it more up you know it's like what are you going for here like that's kind of cool i'm not worried about the sky I'm worried about him so anyway that is what we do all day long looking at images. We're gonna five star our favorites, and then I'm gonna do what I just showed you to all the images. So once I move inside, let me go over here. You know, once we move inside, we start looking at, this is Rocket Dupesin. He's a friend of mine. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Now I have a glossy sharp indoor. See what it does to the shadows and stuff? And I have a regular glossy sharp. My regular glossy, glossy sharp, it looks like a glossy image, you know, with those blacks more black and the more punchy. The indoor sometimes is to raise the shadows and the midtones uh, because there's more details in the background that I'm trying to keep. But in this case, I am still totally fine with the regular old glossy sharp, you know, and he has color lights on him. So here's a creative looking image apply that glossy sharp I'm gonna go back to the exposure dealio saw that yellow and sometimes when they're under these kind of lights I, I don't know when it's the light color on them or is that the weird white balance I just clicked on remember I told you about black white or gray it's everywhere dude I'm telling you it's, it's it's very rare that you don't have one of these colors in your image. This washboard thingy is definitely a silver gray, so we're going to do that. I'm going to take my exposure, come way down. Take my contrast. Let's up the contrast. Let's bring the highlights down. 
because of his hat and you're paying attention to skin tones and he looks fine. Uh, clarity, here's clarity down, here's clarity up. See what it does to to him, you know, more and more defined. Your structure does the same thing, but clarity sometimes will make it look fake. So I don't like going above like 20. And I'll leave my clarity alone. All right, so let's uh, copy that. Shift, Command, C. It's five starred. I like that image. Is now I also take pictures for the vendors who are working, meaning Frenchman Street Productions, who provides the revelers and this cool artsy stuff. You know, she's she has this tray where she has like masks on here, so as the people walk in the door, they can walk to her, which is awesome to take a look at how she's dressed up and all, and then she hands them um, a mask. You know, here in New Orleans, we have these really cool different kinds of masks, whether it's feathers or it's that uh, theater looking, you know, mask kind of thing. Uh, so it's just more presentable. But I like this image because this is an image of her working. So you can see the backs of people coming in. You can see how they're seeing her. This is an image that she can use in her advertising her business. So getting the behind the scenes of her actually working We'll five star that. You know, here's a shot of just her. Five star that. She saw me and she cracked a little pose real quick. A little smile. Bam. So here you go. Here's the masks on the tray. This is an image that she could use to show off what her girl is going to look like dressed and how she's going to present whatever's going to be on this tray. And of course, the beautiful smile always wins. All right. So you basically are witnessing... How, look at that, they got a palm table, isn't that cool? How I go through these images. So I'm not gonna give them 25 shots of the palm table. I'm gonna give them three. One from this angle, maybe both of these for, for color purposes. Like I love that color too. Um, later in the afternoon, I know I have them playing the palm table. So that's what I'm giving them. So when you, I like giving my clients the image is done, meaning I selected the favorite images and the angles and the purpose for what I was there for, did all the work to them, including cropping straight if I need to, and uh, that's what they get. So what do we have up here? 754 images. Yeah, it's not going to happen. They're, they're going to wind up getting like 150, 200 images. Because, you know, you work through a scene. Like all this dancing, you got to shoot. You just do. Speaking of dancing, watch these shots. These are really cool. I mean, how awesome is the movement on here? And I'm going to end this video of this job with the settings that I was doing. Because, yes, I was inside. Yes, we did have lights on them. But you're still, you know, not using flash. So you're subjected to how much light are you working with in an ambient setting. And... You know, how do you stop action? Well, you stop action by your shutter speed. You need to be shooting at least 250th or higher. And what is your settings? Meaning, I had to shoot at 3200 at F2, just because I was a little worried about 1.4. Uh, I did at least F2, which is, which is still pretty darn shallow. And it was still finding the face, which is amazing. Love you, Fuji and work. So if I'm hand holding this camera, I put the focusing dot right around here. So it was focusing on her face. Okay. I had the eyes turned off because I didn't want it finding him, which it'll do immediately if your eyes are turned on. Keep the square on. Focus here and shoot. So I knew shooting at 250th, I would stop her action. Because she's dancing, I would love a little bit of movement blur if it happens, because come on, they're moving. Everything you take pictures of does not have to be so razor tack sharp. Sometimes showing that slightly blurriness of the material is because she's spinning. So how cool is that? Her face looks sharp and this is sharp enough, yay. So let's five star that. So I just wanted to show you that, like how do I work in a live setting. 
Uh, again, I had those were my settings f2 at 250th at 3200 speed, and I was able to just work and get those really awesome angles, those low angles. You know, love this. And it's like her face is a little silly right here, but I was really watching her. And I'm gonna crop this. I love showing off all of her feathers. This white peacock, she calls it, um, is a new creation of hers over at Frenchman Street Productions. Uh, I'm telling you, man, she's awesome. She's creative, she's unique. You're gonna get something stunning. It's absolutely worth the money when you're down here as a business and you're trying to impress your people who are there for the event. You know? So if I wasn't honestly worried about her feathers, I am fine with cutting this dude off with doing video. And I like showing the trumpet guy. It's an idea, you know? So anyway, look how sharp that is. So you're seeing true behind the scenes of my actual image. So here's the entire image, that's what I cropped. And yes, it's fine with that kind of crop. And that's an F2, buddy. F2. So anyway, you see where I'm going with this. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot to go through. But once you find your white balance on shots, you know, you can apply to that whole section of the white balance. You know, it's like something as simple as there was another one when I was outside. Hold on. Okay. How cool is this? So yes, this is dark, I was exposing for the lights. Now, here's where some people get really screwy on, it's so grainy when you go to 2000 ISO. You know, the camera model is just not made for it. I did a recent video explaining that when you expose for a picture correctly, the you shouldn't have crazy grain because you're exposing correctly. Meaning, I exposed for these lighted tables. See the blacks in here? There's no grain because I'm not trying to raise the shadows and the blacks to show off the background. And that is how you enhance your grain or your digital noise. Let me explain. Now, look, this is the image out of the camera. There are no settings here. Okay. Look at that. Not even turned on. So let's go glossy sharp. Bam. Isn't that cool? I mean, I see the, the difference. Things a little more punchier. Now let's go to blacks. And let's raise just to my squall away. All the way is ridiculous. I mean, come on. That is a lot of digital noise or grain because we weren't exposing for the blacks. We were exposing for the, those tables. So obviously that's not usable. And I might even, I don't even care to see the dude standing there. I like seeing a pinch of him standing there. Boom. You just need to learn how to work with your files and what is the correct way to work with your files in the wrong way. Um, you don't have to raise your blacks all the time to see everything. Sometimes I want an awesome, moody looking picture. And there's no grain in these blacks, dude, because we're, ex we're exposing correctly for here. All right, you guys, look, I know that's a, a long one, but a little birdie told me that uh, somebody needed this video today with some uh, help with some capture one. So if that helped you, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video because uh, I'm going to make the next one right now. <laughs>